Hi viewers, this is Mohan Vamsi. I'm a DWBI consultant. In this session, I'm going to explain how to implement nested prompts using MicroStrategy. The viewers of this session should have very good understanding on how to use public objects and schema objects in a report. The scenario I'm taking here is a single report is having two prompts. The first prompt is state selection and the second prompt is city selection. So the requirement is once the user selects a particular state, when he, when he clicks and goes to the next prompt, he need to see all the cities that are related to that state. Okay, so for implementing this logic, I'm going to use nested prompts. So let's move on. So first, I'm going to create a prompt on the state. So right click, go to new and click on prompt. Here, I've selected filter definition prompt and I'm going to check choose from an attribute element list. Click on next, click on browse, go to customers and select customer state and click OK. Now click on next, leave the option list all elements as it is, click next. I'm changing the title to state. Click next and click on finish. It will ask you for an object name for the prompt. So here I'm changing the name, default name of the prompt to select a state. And I'm clicking on save. Okay. So here select a state prompt is created. Now let's go to filters. And here I'm going to create a filter on the prompt we just created. So go to new, go to filters, select an empty filter, click on OK. A filter editor will open. Now go to the prompt you just created drag and drop it into the filter definition save and close say name this as filter on state click on save now go back to my prompts folder and create another prompt on city so go to the prompt again choose choose from an attribute element list click on next here choose a, choose the attribute customer city okay so here clearly observe here instead of going for list all elements i'm going for use a filter to reduce the number of elements and here i'm choosing the filter which I have just created. So click on next. I'm changing the title to city. Click on next and finish. So here I'm changing the default name select a city by filter on state. And I click on save. So here we have two prompts. Now create a simple report choose the blank report and click OK. Now add the attributes customer country customer state, customer city, and 
add the metric revenue to the columns. Now, add the prompts that we just created to the filter section. If you look at here, I'm not adding both the prompts. I'm adding only one prompt that I've created at the end. And this one prompt is holding even the state prompt. So when you execute, starting it will ask you for state selection. So here I'm choosing California and I'm clicking on next and I'm clicking on finish. If you look at here, all the cities that are shown in the next prompt are related to California. So when you practice, choose another state and you'll only see the cities which are related to that state. So from this selection, like 10 different random cities. So in this report, we can see customer state is equal to California. So that's the that's our first prompt selection. So under the customer city, we can see all the prompt selections from the second prompt and all the customer cities are related to the cu customer state California and we can also see the revenue that was generated for each of the cities. So you can implement and practice the same logic using your MicroStrategy tutorial project available with every installation of MicroStrategy. If you have any questions feel free to write to me at vamsi27 at gmail.com. Thank you so much for watching this video.